hey guys it's 4 a.m i haven't been to bed yet it's going to be a long day but i wanted to show you my fall november book <music> I found I was in um, Barnes and Noble and I saw some books with this way of um, this what you call it closure where you just have either leather or elastic and you thread it through a bead and you just make sure that it has a tie at the end so that you can you don't have to ever take off the bead so you can just change this, tighten it this way, it's tightened, pull, and there you go. So I thought, how simple! And instead of, because you guys know sometimes I just put an elastic around it or punch a hole and thread some ribbon through it, but this is so simple. I may still do the other stuff, but I thought I'd give it a try. So I sewed in some tea dyed paper and some pattern paper and I have a pocket in the beginning, I already put down the calendar. I had some of these, I'm trying to use up a lot of my scraps around the place. Um, <laughs> I think this was motivated by my watching hoarders one day and I said, Okay, time to do some cleaning out of my supplies, making sure that everything I have is necessary. So in that process, I found a lot of things that I had not thought about in a while. A pocket there. Some of these came from, you know, those ready-made um, 12 by 12 photo albums. So I just converted them to pages and pockets and some of these were cards that I had in um that I got from Tuesday morning if I don't end up using this for some reason of course it will end up on my website you know because sometimes I do, as you saw what I did in October, I did make an October book and then I ended up using a, a leather sketchbook. So there's that. Because so. I normally go bigger. And even the, this is even smaller than the, the leather book. But it has a nice width that I like. So, and I made a little pocket there. Just flip up. And I liked that because it was a photo album, it had places for pictures, square pictures. So, I just made sure to make sure that I could see that. So. For whatever day this is gonna be at least I have a ready-made place for a photo yeah. this I could turn into a bookmark or it might become part of the page but I put this stuff in here too and I'm glad that I went back to put in lots of pockets so that I could put stuff in there for when I'm going to work on a page away from my desk away from my craft station that paper for writing and of 
course we have our final pocket here more photo stuff I like this idea I saw on Pinterest each day you have a prompt to say what you're thankful for and so I'm gonna do that whether in this book or in another book but you know it's ready to go which was the problem is that I waited too long and then the month kept going and I didn't have a book ready like I did before but I think I was just you know overwhelmed with all the stuff that was going on in terms of school and teaching and reading and writing so um, I think I overdid it today because I did a lot of crafting stuff today because I wasn't at school and now I've made myself so tired that when I go to school now for a whole day I think it's gonna be a challenge but I'll come back right after and get some rest so here's that Okay, so I think it's cute <laughs> and it's compact and it will be a new experience and that's what I've been trying to do, you know, do things differently. I wanted them all to be the same from January to December, but by October you saw that kind of change, I wanted something different by the 10th month. So you know, having everything exactly the same is a bit overrated. And even though they individually were different as you saw through out my because no two days were exactly the same different pictures different washi tape different scraps different quotes you know but it was the same formatting so I'm glad that I got to deviate a little bit from that in October and even though this goes back a little bit more to what I was doing before just in a smaller size I think this might work out all right guys thanks so much for watching don't forget to like share comment subscribe hit me up on Instagram Facebook and Twitter and also on my website wendikagale.com and I'll see you next time what good <laughs>